pumped. Big boobs? What? How's it going guys? Alex Eubank here coming at you with a chest video. So I've already had a previous video on how to get a bigger chest, but I've been getting a lot more requests again on it. So this is going to be my like little chest workout. It's really a push day. So uh, it's kind of the exercise I like to do. I'll include some tips that I like to do for my chest days to get a bigger, you know, chest. So I just got back from my MRI and, um, you know, it was kind of weird. You know, it was really loud. Um, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought I wasn't going to like do good with it. But I think we'll get the results because today's a Friday, so we'll get the results back on like Monday or Tuesday, I think they said. So I'll see what's wrong with my lower back. So I'm still taking it easy, but yeah, so let's get into this workout. All right, so the most important thing when it comes to building a bigger chest is developing a mind-muscle connection. So when people kind of hit me up, they like tell me that they're having a hard time feeling their chest really working, especially when they're bench pressing. Usually people feel, you know, their, their front delt getting a little bit of a pump, a little bit sore. And um, they just don't get the best pump from their chest. And like the biggest key I believe to hypertrophy, which is like building actual muscle tissue and getting like physical mass, is having a uh, pump, uh, hypertrophy training. So not as much like the strength and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, the first tip, in order to get a better mind muscle connection, one of the best things you can do is a pre-exhaustion technique. I emphasize this in a lot of my videos. Basically what it is, is instead of doing like a compound set, like usually I bet you start off with like a bench press for your first exercise. So we're not gonna do that instead. I can start off with like dumbbell flies or cable flies, anything that's an isolation movement, usually some type of crossover for chest specifically. And I'll do them for about 15 to 20 reps for about two to three sets with really short rest, maybe 30, 35 seconds of rest between each set. It's really trying to get a uh, pump on. And then in between sets, try to flex your chest a bit. So you really force blood into there. So then after that, we're gonna go into a bench press. You'll really be feeling your bench, I mean your uh, chest working a lot more than any other muscle group because it's gonna be fatiguing first before like your anterior deltoid will. And then also, um, you won't be able to lift as much weight because obviously you're already kind of working your chest a little bit beforehand. But again, I believe that for gaining mass or gaining um, actual hypertrophy in size, you do not need to worry about the weight as much because I myself am not really a strong lifter. Again, I'm big on pump training. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I did three sets on that, uh, 15 to 20 reps, flexing between sets, short rest time. So I already got a pump. Uh, like I could tell in my last set, I could really feel myself when I contracted my chest. So really got that mind muscle connection going now. So now we're gonna go to flat bench. And the point of this is like people always say like, you have to lift heavy because it recruits the most amount of muscle fibers. And that's how you like, you know, gain muscle or whatever over time. So even though you're not gonna be doing as much heavier weight, your body doesn't know what numbers are, but it knows kind of what force is. So like, if you are benching for your first exercises of bench and you're doing like 225 for five uh, sets or whatever versus if you do the pre-exhaustion pre technique and then you go to bench now and you're only doing like 185, your body doesn't know the numbers but it still knows that it's already pre-exhaust and that, that 185 is going to feel like that 225. So that's kind of what I'm trying to explain. But um, you'll be able to feel your chest firing a lot more when you're going to be doing this bench press even though you're lifting lighter. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm out of breath. All right, so now we're gonna be going into dumbbell incline bench press. Dumbbells are great because you get more of a stretch. Helps prevent muscle imbalances because you're working each you know side differently. And um, incline because a lot of people neglect the upper chest. So if you really want to get that kind of like the oh, that shelf pop out like Arnold got and a lot of the um, 
uh, older classic bodybuilders got. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> incline. I'm out of breath. I'm sorry. Uh, really work on that upper chest because it's going to fill out your chest. If you have a bencher's chest, like a flat bench, it's going to be full in the lower side. But if you want to get that upper heart, that upper part, it'll kind of blend into your front deltoid. You just, you just have a better size when you work your upper chest more. So, yeah, upper chest key. So, let's get into it. All right, so now we're gonna get into the isolation, like the last exercise. So it's gonna be this cable fly variation where we go down, mid, up. We keep going back and forth to hit all areas of the chest. And then we're gonna superset it with some dips. Sometimes I like to change it up. Sometimes I do the dips before I do these or I'll do them right after I do these. But um, so yeah, it's gonna be a superset. I'm out of breath <laughs> but yeah that's it for today's video how to get a bigger chest really good chest workout um hope you guys liked it please like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i post a lot of stuff like this uh probably be my next video would be like a full day eating so you guys can see what i'm eating i've been losing a little bit of fat getting a little bit leaner but yeah i know gyms are going to start opening up soon so you know i'm going to start posting more of these workout videos again again if you haven't already on my instagram in my highlights i have a eight week workout program. So once the gyms open up, you can hop on that. I've gotten really good results from people telling me they've been gaining a lot of good muscle during it. So uh, definitely look at that. My Instagram is Alex underscore you 15. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Stay safe for the rest of quarantine and I'll see you guys in the next one.